And you need to start doing that a lot more, plus doing the conscious inner work, plus learning how to actually talk to yourself and have a real conversation with the subconscious parts of you. So many things have happened in the last four days, just like sort of always happens for us since we've retrained our subconscious and our mindset. We call ourselves the Lucky Cliffords. And my husband was saying, how to, how to change your life in four days? And I said, yes, okay, first you need seven years. <laughs> But here's why this is so key and actually why I'd already had the title of this set up and I wanted to talk to people about, I don't actually believe in patience as a thing, but the easiest concept to understand is you need a hell of a lot more patience. You need to stop going into impatience when you don't immediately get things changing and you think, oh, I've been doing this for months. It should be different. When actually, if you look at it, usually you'll have a little great things happen along the way. You might, you know, if you start to try to change your mindset for that next level, whether that next level is $100,000 a month or $10,000 a month or literally bringing in $500, whichever it is, and you start clicking into that next level, you've got to retrain the way you think. And guess what the good news is? It's always about dropping deeper into trust, deeper into self-love and deeper into faith that everything is working out for you. And I really wish that I could convey it from my heart to yours. So here I am like, whoosh, my heart to yours. Okay, hear this. The only thing you need is to convince yourself that everything is working out oh yes but this happened and oh yeah but I don't think I can do it no your job is to convince yourself everything is working out now the reason why maybe you did that for a while and then it didn't work out is because the human mind is complex okay that's why it helps to work with someone gifted like me I just got off the phone with one of my favorite clients. Uh, she's a powerful thought leader. And so she said to me that I'm really great at filling in the gaps. And I really loved that because a lot of people, they'll just tell you to just think positive. And then they'll say, no, 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 just focus on what you want. And maybe even convince yourself to believe what you want and just think positive. Now, that ultimately doesn't work for everyone because what you have to do is learn how to have an actual conversation with yourself. You cannot and it will never, ever, ever, ever work to just think it will work, it will work, it will work, I can do it, it is happening. While underneath, you have this feeling of dread, of heaviness, of physical issues, of all these sorts of things going on. These opinions about things not working out and how things fall apart or when good happens, bad happens. Like I've worked with so many people over the years, like, like I mean, thousands around the world over the last 12 years. And I can tell you, everyone has negative beliefs that sabotage them and take them off track. Before they come to me, a lot of the time, they're just trying to be positive. But it doesn't work like that. Yes, you've got to try to be positive. But no, you can't just try to be positive. You have to have an intimate conversation with yourself over and over and over again. And you have to break up with your thinking. Break up with those thoughts. Stop thinking that you're freaking psychic. Oh, I know this is never going to work. Oh, that's it. He broke up with me. It's not going to work. Oh, that's right. You know, I just made money. So that means that I'm never going to make any more money again. It's like, shut up. <laughs> like, that's how I talk, you know, like, really? Like, stop. And how about you remind yourself of the universal laws, which is a big part of what I teach, coming up and trust your way into alignment, my reboot coming up. I've already got loads of awesome thought leaders and high level women signed up. You've got to join us for this so you can catch your negative thoughts and learn how to get control of you. Oh my God, your job is to convince yourself that what you want is happening, can happen will happen, will happen, and am 
happening, that it is happening, but I am, right? So like, but you can't just always use the I am when you're training yourself into this because it won't feel true if you have these like deep subconscious beliefs and your nervous system will hold you back. So this is why working with me one-to-one is truly the best option. Uh, actually, Trust Your Way Into Alignment has a VIP option where you can sign up for either five or 10 private one-to-one sessions with me. Uh, I just got a little testimonial back it, it was very, very simple, but really packed a punch. Um, <laughs> she said to me, you were the best choice for anybody's last dollar. And you can quote me on that. Yeah. And I can tell you when you act from trust, and you know, I've said this a lot, when you act from trust, you got more to trust. It is so true. Look, <sighs> Seven years ago, I remember the joke I said at the start, how to change your life in four days. Just start with seven years and then, okay, it's a thing. Overnight successes always have years before them. And I remember something like, I don't know, years, something like seven, six, seven, eight, nine, seven-ish years ago. When our backs were up against the wall, we had no money. I mean, none, like zero. Like we are lucky if we had three pounds we would go to the to the uh, grocery store, get a roast cooked roast chicken for three pounds. Fortunately, we're in England, so it wasn't very hot. <laughs> and we would put it in the cupboard, and we would eat it over three days because we had no money, we had no furniture, we had no fridge, we had no oven, we had nothing. We had to eat at the Salvation Army soup kitchen. But we had our devices, fortunately, and we were listening to Tony Robbins, you know, um, Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, John Kehoe, uh, Darren Hardy of The Compound Effect, all these amazing speakers. We were, I was reading Think and Grow Rich and the science of getting rich while we had literally nothing. And guess what? The defining factor of everyone is that succeed is, okay, there's a few, one. They tell themselves repeatedly that they can do it. You will never, ever, 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 ever get what you want by being right about the fact that it can't happen. Goody, great, you were right that it couldn't happen. Yay, okay, but that's what you'll get. (laughs) You know, you have to give yourself the chance to be wrong about it, okay? Guess what? The second thing that they all had in common was that they failed over and over and over and over again. They went through bankruptcies, some of them. Some of them were homeless. Some of them just went, just didn't get things to work, but they kept getting back up. The number one thing is that you keep getting back up and you realize that it's not about the instant change. The paradox is, is in this moment, you can instantly change at least for a few seconds, <laughs> a few minutes, you can, a few hours, you can get into a present state, which is where all your power is. Stop thinking, oh, I can't do it because of this. And oh, this is going to happen because of that. Don't you get sick of your bullshit? When you get sick of your bullshit and these stories, I can't do this and it's not going to work and I'm not doing it because I'm afraid and I can't be bothered and it's not fair. I mean, come on, people. I'm saying this firsthand as someone who used to have PTSD and over those seven years, I can tell you it wasn't all forward movement. A lot of it was stagnating. A lot of it was feeling defeated. A lot of it was being in a cranky pants mood, feeling like it wasn't fair. But still, at some point, I still kept getting back up and trying to move forward. And since then, I have built a business with clients who contact me and work with me regularly and keep coming back. I've built, and this coming from me seven years ago, eight years ago, even like just before the period I told you about, when I first started trying to do online work, really. I felt like no one wanted to work with me. I felt like I couldn't give my stuff away for free, but I kept showing up even though I was embarrassed. Now saying that, sometimes I didn't show up for long periods of time. Sometimes I really wouldn't, but I always knew in my heart I would get back up and I'd try again. Okay, now then you can go into saying, oh, I should have done this seven years ago. 
Well, you can't because you did it. So fucking drop it. Stop trying to control the things that you cannot control you're trying to control the fact that you didn't do the thing years ago that you should have done now stop it <laughs> and you think you can't but guess what you can even if it's just for two seconds even if it's just for 10 seconds of peace and quiet where you say no i'm not gonna think that and then the thoughts they rush back in whoosh you're again surrounded with a cacophony of I can't do this and I just suck and I'm not good enough and they will judge me. Shut it down. You have the ability, even if it's just for 10 seconds. And then maybe this time you'll get an extra 10 seconds of silence until whoosh, they come back in. You might just give up now. You'll just fail. No one likes you. It's not going to work. Blah, 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 blah shut up but you don't do it from a oh i mean you can do it as long as it, there's a whole certain thing but if you're angry at the thought because you already made the firm decision that you're not going to think it anymore you can go through a period of anger that takes you out of despair and then you rush up into anger and then that propels you forward but to use the anger properly you need to be thinking thoughts like i'm done with this hmm, i'm sick of this i'm better than this ah, i'm i'm not going to put up with this anymore instead of oh i suck and i hate myself and blah 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 you have to use your thoughts to take you in the right direction yeah Whew. here's the thing you can achieve whatever you want when you know how to think right but we all have inverted thinking okay we've been grown up brought up trained into inverted thought patterns where you try to think of the how while not believing that it can happen it will never happen you'll get disheartened you'll prove to yourself that it cannot work because you believe it won't happen and you always get what you believe you always get what you secretly expect now again if you're like oh yeah but i tried that it did work doesn't mean you give up you dig deeper the law is infallible it's always the same the universal law god's law it's always the same now maybe you misunderstand the law okay most people do almost everyone does now i can teach you because i have been learning it and i uh, have a special type of mind i know things okay it's just who i am and i know things because i have not ever conformed and i learned everything the hard way you know what i mean what else okay so you can you can you can but you cannot if you think i can't i can't i can't how can i do it i have to do it okay another one if you think you want something like if you think you want money if you think you want uh, a large audience if you think you want a romantic relationship or the perfect body or a certain type of health or whatever but you actually have attached and hooked onto that like a little parasite that actually you don't want the thing you think that it's going to bring you love likable being liked respect um security and safety what's the other ones proving that you're good enough proving that you're worthy proving that you matter making people care making people listen proving people wrong all these are type of parasite that link onto your desire and therefore you don't actually desire your desire you desire those other things i said right but this parasite will suck your desire of all the life force until it's dead and you'll keep pushing it away because you're not actually believing you can have the desire because you're not already in the state okay so if you think money will make you feel safe you can't have the money until you transcend that which why it took me seven fucking years i mean not quite that long now because it's been a but anyway why it took time <sighs> why it took time four or five years to finally stop getting like get out of that and then i've been growing ever since until you start to transcend the i need money i need this i need that to feel safe or to prove i'm worthy or whatever until you learn how to actually do that now and give it to yourself now 
you'll continue to push it away. And you can complain and you can moan and you can say it's not fair, but you're just going to dig yourself deeper and it's just going to take you farther away from what you want. And you're just going to feel more and more sorry for yourself. And anything that's in your way, anything that's in your way is ultimately you feeling sorry for yourself. Whew. Okay. So what questions do you have around this? What would you like to know? Do you have anything that's in your way telling you that you can't have what you want and you're believing it? Stop it. Okay, now it's not always that easy. Stop it. Okay, it, it, it's sometimes very complex. Stop it. <laughs> your thoughts seem so convincing. It can't work. You can't have it because stop it. It's all just noise. Now, again, it doesn't mean it's always just as easy as doing that, but I tell you, sometimes it is. And you need to start doing that a lot more, plus doing the conscious inner work, plus learning how to actually talk to yourself and have a real conversation with the subconscious parts of you. And I was asked today what you need to do to contact the subconscious part of you. Nothing. You just need to call it by name as if it's another person and have a talk to it and listen and then reply and then listen and then reply and then listen and then reply. It's that simple. And I really suggest you don't do any ceremony around it. Like you don't need to light a candle or wait for a full moon or whatever. You simply talk to it because it's always, always, always in communication with you. It's always, always, always listening to you. It's always, always, always being impacted by what you say, think, and feel, okay? So that is why it's so important that you start getting the energies of security, of knowing you are worthy, of believing that, yes, you can. And you don't stress about the how. You just go about your day. Yes, you're going to have to work for it. If you want to be in a relationship, you're going to have to put yourself in social situations. You're going to have to go and get yourself a life that you actually enjoy. Okay, you're going to have to do things that you think you need a husband to do first. And only after you do that and you feel secure that, yes, you can do it. And you don't need a husband to do these things. Then the husband will come in because your husband isn't, you know, a meal ticket. And yeah, it's great to be supported and to support each other. And there's nothing wrong with wanting, you know, a successful man or whatever. It's fantastic. If you do, that's great. But you have to be secure in yourself first. And remember, it's a journey. It's an up and down journey. What did I say earlier? It, it, you can make it last sometimes for 10 seconds, for a few hours, then for a few days, then for a few months. Your confidence will last, but first you've got to kickstart it and be willing to go through those, those uh, insecure moments where you turn back into yourself and you really talk to yourself with love and a type of loving forcefulness. Yeah? Whew. I would love to know what your highlights have been. Please go back and watch this again. I know that this has so much goodness in it. If you listen to this every single day for the next six months and you actually took it in and you start trying to practice it, even as you keep failing at it, failing at it is normal. As I said, you fail your way forward. You know, the only people who succeed are people who are willing to so-called fail because they realize that failures are just the steps to the way you want. Failures are just the steps onto the way you want. Okay. That's all. And every failure is an opportunity. It's a gateway. It's an actual opportunity. So get over the failure thing, get over needing to be perfect. That's just an insecurity that will hold you back forever. Yeah. So Yes, save this video for sure. Listen to it again and share it with your friends. If this has been impactful for you, then definitely share or tag someone in the comments who you think needs to hear this. Now, for those of you that feel called to go deep, sign up to my one-to-one -one work. Right now, the best way is probably through my VIP option in Trust Your Way Into Alignment, my premier program, which is so powerful, so chock-a-block full of mindset practices that help you flip your inverted thinking into how you're actually meant to think. Now, yes, it's going to take work. Yes, you're going to have to put some time into it. But if you want to change your life, you have to change your life. If you want to change your life, you have to change your life. If you want to change your life, you have to 
change your life. And to do that, you have to no longer accept the conditions and circumstances that you don't want. If you want more time, you have to make more time first, even if it's just little increments, okay? If you want more money, then you have to hop into something like this container that is going to open you up to more prosperity. Because the truth is, every thought you think either makes you a dollar or takes a dollar away. And we think a lot of thoughts each day. Now, are you thinking in the negative, which is a negative bank balance? Okay, and it's not just enough to think positive thoughts. You have to be able to get the energies of security, safety, overcome the resistance so you're willing to follow through and do the work because God, the universe, the divine, whichever word you prefer, can only do certain things through you. God doesn't have hands. God can't send the emails for you. Okay, God can't take you to the party where you'll be social and make some friends. God can't take you to your canvas to do your painting or to the laptop to do your typing. Okay, you're the one who has to do that. I would love, love, love to help you upgrade your habits, retrain your subconscious, and really help you overcome the I can't attitude in whichever area of your life that is. And really dive in to that complexity of your mind and start untangling all of those webs so that we can, can revert your thinking back to the visionary way of thinking. Okay, so you've got my Trust Your Way into Alignment chock a block program and we are powerful high level women it is time we all start acting like it and we don't have to be perfect i'm fucking not perfect in any way shape or form but i do have the grit and i do have the tenacity and i do have the ability to get back up and i know how the human mind works better than even any fucking trained therapist i people come to me after been to therapists and it didn't work people come to me after they went to some of the most expensive coaches in the world and it didn't work and then they come to me and i as i was told today fill in the gaps where people are just told to think positive and then it doesn't work and then i teach them how to actually restructure their thinking processes and yeah you're gonna keep having up down up down it's gonna work and then it's not work not work not work not but that is how it works because you it's not just oh you get a healing it's like no you have to actually face your challenges and choose to react differently yeah you choose to react differently in the moment as it seemingly go wrong and as you train yourself as i help you train yourself to believe that everything really is working out for you it does it really does it really does. But you've got to learn how to trust and you've got to learn how not to panic and not be so impatient. And when you go to panic, you trust. Because what's the other option? You panic and then what? Did that help? No. Okay. It didn't. In fact, it just pushed what you wanted away. You know, one of one things that really helped people is like, why would you worry about it when worrying doesn't change the outcome? Except guess what? It does. It changes the outcome for the extreme worst. It literally miscreates and manifests using the creative power of the universe for limitation, which is the, the, the what's it called? The equal of evil. Yeah, the limitation is the equal of what creates evil. Okay, so when you limit yourself, you're creating evil. Now think of it like this. Maybe you're not doing anything wrong, but if you have a gift to share and you know you can help people either express themselves or grow something in their life or let go of something, then by you limiting yourself through your bullshit story saying that you cannot, then you are letting these people suffer and you're being selfish in the bad way, right? Because you're, you're making it about yourself instead of showing up and asking, what can you give today? Now, that's why I'm doing these live streams as a way to give. And yeah, I sell on these live streams. But guess what? I also sell as a way to give because the, I give above and beyond anything close to what you pay for it. And that's sort of like one of the principles of going the extra mile. And when you give, 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 you will receive, receive, receive. But a lot of the time what you receive won't come from the people that you give it to. It's the spirit 
of giving. It's the trust. It's the not having resentment of people for not giving you the same thing back. No, no, no. Don't give something to someone if you can't, if you don't have the emotional space. Don't reply to those messages before you're ready. Don't say sorry if you haven't replied in a day or two because you didn't have the emotional space. Reply when you have the emotional, the emotional space, right? Your job is to shore up your boundaries, which is the container to hold your ideal life. And you get comfortable with saying what is right for you and what is wrong for you. And you know that no one will have a problem with it because you don't. Trust your way into alignment is all about getting control of you. It's about getting control of your mind. And I genuinely want everyone in my audience to do this reboot. And I know not everyone will, and that's completely fine. But for those of you that are on the fence, I can tell you, taking the leap into something like this, if you actually show up and do the work, is going to change your life. And it's not just going to be some magic ticket, although in some ways it will be, as long as you're willing to do the work and practice the mindset stuff, you will see opportunities come in. But you may also have the same old problems come up. And then your choice is I'm going to teach you how to respond differently to these challenges so you find and attract and literally magnetize the opportunities to you. The things that happen in our lives, the reason we call ourselves the lucky Cliffords is because things just keep coming to us without us having to stress and try. We just go through our day and do our things and sales come in and, you know, we high five on them and, you know, like referrals come in and people offer my husband great jobs and oh, so much goodness happens because a long time ago we started training ourselves to believe that everything is working out for us and we did the painful inner work plus the fun inner work to retrain our nervous system and subconscious. So I'm going to put the link in the comments here. Thank you so much, Astrid. Astrid, uh, who says, highly recommend Kai to the whole world. Uh, she is one of my most favorite private clients. Uh, so thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so you can join me for my private one-to-one. -one. You can uh, join me as a actual VIP with private sessions as part of the Trust Your Way Into Alignment journey. I also have a ultra, like ridiculously almost dumb, low cost, uh, beautiful, I mean, high end, um, what is it like a members club as in like a super low cost, but the content I put in, I could be charging a lot more for and the price will be going up. Uh, but you can join the Spiritual Expansion Society and join me in a masterclass where I lead you through some live tapping for forgiveness. It's not regular tapping. This is Kai's way of tapping. Okay. And all my clients, I can tell you the amount of people that have used these exact words is insane. So many people tell me, oh, Kai, you've ruined me for regular tapping now. You've ruined regular tapping. I cannot do it anymore. I don't just do tapping. I do a breathwork tapping combined with a uh, biofield healing, intuitive sort of knowing, somatic breathwork tracking. Uh, it's all very unique and different. It's very high vibe. It's very healing. You know, you've had a healing. It's not boring like and dry like a lot of tapping. And it really helps you change your beliefs and believe that you can and you will, especially as you repeat it and keep going. So you can join us in the Spiritual Expansion Society and a trial at the moment for only $22 for one month. If you don't absolutely love it, please cancel. No questions asked. But if you do love it, I believe you will because I've added so much amazing stuff in there, really, to keep you busy so that when you do your inner work most days, you can tap into one of the pieces of content. You can choose it like an oracle if you want. You know, you choose an oracle card and go, hmm, this one. Well, there's so many pieces of content in there. You'll get access to the last three months plus this month. Uh, you'll get access to some other cornerstone teachings plus of course if you choose to stay you'll get access to every other month that comes out also you'd be grandfathered in uh at the price it is right now which the monthly price at this moment of recording is only 33 dollars a month so as a founding member you would even as it goes up to whether it goes up to 40 or 60 or even 100 uh time will tell i'm sure it would definitely for sure be rising but for right now you can get in and you'll be locked in forever at that price as long as you don't leave of course Whew. So let me know if you have any questions. And as I said, listen to these teachings again. I got an excellent download and I want you to remember that you can, but you have to have an I can and an I will 
attitude. You've got to break up with those thoughts and stop seeing them as your master, thinking that you're psychic and know everything. Like since when did you know everything? Like stop believing those thoughts and start convincing yourself into believing what works. And what works is believing that you can and you will and it's done. If you want to learn more, join us in Trust Your Way Into Alignment. I'll retrain your brain, get you into trust, into faith, into prosperity. I cannot wait to share this with you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for those who shared. I really appreciate it. Love you all. And I want you to remember, you really do get to choose your own reality.